Hey, what's going on my fellow reefers, Fragbox TV. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use this coral dip, something that every reefer should be doing before adding new corals to your aquarium. So when it comes to coral dips, why do we coral dip? When you're adding new corals, to your aquarium, there's always a chance of introducing unwanted pests. So for zoanthids, there's a certain sort of nudie branch that will eat them. And for Acropora or SPS corals, there is a flatworm that will eat those. For torch corals, hammers, frog spawn, euphilia, there's also a flatworm. So many corals have a pest that will actually live on them and slowly eat them and kill them once they're in your tank they can kind of be a pain in the butt to get out this is why i keep this in almost every single tank which is a ras this is a i think it's a yellow chorus ras if i'm wrong you can uh, correct me in the bottom i fish is not my forte i'm just going to go ahead and say that but i keep those rasses in every tank because they're great at eating pests so we dip stuff before we put it in the tank and then if we miss something um, the wrasses are really, really good scavengers. They're going to pick it up. So I'm going to show you in a second. Tia is going to get uh, a dip going over here with the Revive, our product model of the day. And there's a couple different options. These are probably the two most popular ones. This is Revive here from Two Little Fishies. We use this all the time. This is also excellent. Coral RX Pro, been around forever. Uh, sorry, Coral RX. And then this is the Pro version, which is just a concentrate, almost the same stuff, but a more concentrated version. Just grab whatever you can find at your local fish store, really. I think they're more or less the same. Aquaforest makes one as well. Almost every company now makes one. I guess Red Sea doesn't make one yet, but regardless of what you choose, I'll show you how to actually use it. So you can dip just about all corals. Some corals that are a little more sensitive, you may not want to dip or it won't dip as long. Certain types of hard coral, SPS, enchinata, stuff like that. So we want to add some acans over here to our tank. So this is, these are actually amazing acans. I'm going to do a video on these alone because this little one over here, uh, over here is incredible and I've never seen one like it. So it's really, really nice. So these are our corals that haven't been dipped yet. What we're going to do is add them to this salt water over here and we're going to add a couple capfuls of revive let them sit for 10 minutes kind of take a bath and what that does the dip will kill everything on the coral except the coral it doesn't harm corals it's 100 percent safe for the coral but you see all these little critters i'm going to show you in a second uh, that are going to come off so it says four capfuls to a gallon we use our trusty little dipping bucket here you can do one capful to a quarter of a gallon and just do the math and measure it out uh, we kind of eyeball it but you don't you don't need to use you know, the four capfuls to a gallon every single time. But this is generally how we're using one capful to, it's about a liter in here. And you just add them and it's really easy and it's good preventative measure. Every hobbyist really should be dipping. It's, yeah, stop dropping sorry, the sorry. expensive acans. Shit, Tia, what are you doing? It's slippery. <laughs> but uh, it's really, really good uh, habit to form early on. I find that a lot of people don't do it and then once you get a pest in the tank they're like oh shit and then that's when you start dipping so we're going to go ahead and set a timer because i can't tell you how many times i've forgotten a coral in the depth i cannot stress this enough if you're like me and you have even a little bit of adhd or a very active imagination just go ahead and set a timer so that you don't forget them because if you leave them in here too long you will kill them what let me see if i can focus yeah look our first little whatever it is we I, i've seen some crazy crazy stuff come off coral i'm gonna link in the description of this video uh, a video that i made almost 10 years ago finding a bobbit worm oh which is just God. absolutely disgusting it was like six inches long you have to have to watch that video i'm gonna link it in the bottom of this one so the thing to know about this dip unfortunately it's gonna kill the bad stuff but it's also gonna kill the good stuff so copepods amphipods uh, maybe some sort of starfish like uh, brittle stars that aren't necessarily bad for your tank It's gonna kill it's gonna nuke just about everything other than the coral so so now you can kind of see how much has actually Come off of this all these poor sorry copal pods. We don't mean to kill you. I don't know what this is in the corner This is really strange, um, but I've seen crabs worms uh, Pistol shrimps other kind of shrimps. I've seen fish come as hitchhikers in colonies of acro So it's kind of crazy what can hide inside oh there's another little something something just get into the hot the habit of dipping it's really really good practice i can't stress this enough here is my sidetrack of the day 
Um, these we fragged the other day. I don't know if you saw the video, fragging a very expensive chalice coral, but they're all looking really good. We haven't lost any yet. So it seems like it's going pretty well. If they were going to die, most likely they would have died already. So a little sidetrack, yeah, they're looking good. Just a little up. Okay, final step. So what we've done now is remove the acans from the dip, uh, cleaned the bucket out, and refilled this with nice, clean salt water without a dip. And why we do that is the corals sort of gunk up. They kind of create a mucus, and they hold on to some of the dip. And we don't want to introduce the dip into our aquarium. So now we do this uh, salt water bath for 10 minutes. It's just regular salt water right out of our tank in order to clean the dip off of them. So we use the dip to clean the coral, and then we use the salt water to clean the dip, about 20 minutes all in all. But once they're nice and clean, give them a little shake in there, we're gonna go ahead and add them to the tank. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added them to the tank. It is very normal for corals to look stressed after an, a dip, so just for an example, sorry for the dirty glass, there's a nice, healthy, puffy orange acan, and then they look retracted and really shitty after a dip. So they should bounce back in about a day. Don't be nervous, um, just give them some time. But I think, yeah, that's it for today's video. If you guys got any questions about dipping corals or coral reefs in general, you can always hit us up. And I want you to comment in the bottom, question of the day, what is the craziest shit that you've ever seen come off of a coral uh, after dipping it? But that's it for uh, today's video. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Fragbox TV.